Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Film Club. The club where we just talk about films that we've been recently been watching. Remember, comment down below what you've been watching, what you've been thinking about films that you've been seeing. If you've seen the films that I've been talking about, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I hadn't ever seen Extraction 1, so when I saw Extraction 2 coming out and it looked really good, I thought, I'm gonna have to watch Extraction 1, aren't I? And actually, I was really pleasantly surprised by this film. I think at first I had this sour taste in my mouth from previous Netflix action films that were just lifeless and dead, that I was like refusing to watch this film essentially. I was like, I'm just, uh, screw you Netflix, I'm not doing it. But I actually think I hindered myself because this is a great film. So this film follows Chris Hemsworth who works for this organisation that take on contracts and go and basically like extract people or just kill people basically. He has to go and get this kid who's been kidnapped and it's got all like mobs and bosses and different crews and stuff involved. And we see him go in, get this kid, but then there's a double crossing of the deal. But he still wants to get the kid out and we basically just follow him trying to do that. With this massive onslaught of an basically an army after it. If you like John Wick you will love this film. It is just basically John Wick but a little bit grittier actually. I genuinely really enjoyed this more than I thought I would. I think the action just fits really well. I think Chris Hemsworth fits the role perfectly. I love the fact that they're aware that what they're doing isn't right. You know they go around killing all these people and it's not right. You shouldn't be doing it but they do it anyway. And we get to see the, the character development and humanity of his character develop. Which at first I thought they've jumped way too quickly into the action and I just don't even care or know anything about Chris Hemsworth's character but actually as the film went on it, it didn't actually become a hindrance to the film I actually really enjoyed it I thought we got to know a little bit more of his character as it went with his backstory and his kid and it was just genuinely quite a well-written character now one of the best bits about this film is one of the action scenes is one take well it, it's semi it's not one take you can see that there's cuts but it's meant to feel like it's one take and it does an absolutely stellar job I need to see this more in action films and I wish action films did more of this because an issue for ages has just been two quick cuts where it's to the point of like I can't see what's going on. Having it as one take really really builds the tension in such a great way and to me this film did it perfectly. He was just running through different buildings and the, I honestly don't know how they did some of the camera movements. Like I work with cameras and I know cameras and I, I was just baffled watching it. How they go from like a street fight straight to a car chase. It's crazy. The editing on this is brilliant and it's not perfect. You can see that there is quite evident cuts but at the same time it doesn't matter because you're lost in it and the tension of this scene was just fantastic. The way they incorporated some really really technical fight scenes like knife fights and even just big gun fights and uh, being able to do it in such a way that it still looks brilliant is very impressive to me. I, I, I really enjoyed it. The ending of the film seeing him basically just get killed. <laughs> well, technically not because there's an extraction too. But I thought that was really good seeing like you, you watch a John Wick and they just don't get damaged. They have the best plot armor in the world. With this we saw him actually get damaged. He was struggling and yeah he recovered pretty quickly but at the same time I just I, I enjoyed I didn't enjoy him seeing get hurt but it was good to see him not be just completely thick with plot armor. I liked the little addition of David Harbour and his character. I think that was a nice little bit and See now, you just can't trust anybody in this game. Yeah, overall, Extraction 1 was really good. Extraction 2 took everything from Extraction 1 and, in my opinion, built on it and made it better. Well, sort of. In terms of an actual action film and with the gunfights and the goriness, I think Extraction 1 does a little bit of a better job of keeping grounded and staying level, while Extraction 2, was, uh, it, it sort of lessens that. But what we miss in that, we get more of in character development, relationships, and it, it's kind of a better film overall for it. But realistically, we don't watch Extraction 2 for characters. We don't watch it for action. We, well, we do watch it for action. What am I saying? We watch it for action. That was my point. <laughs> and the 21 minute long action sequence that was one take. Oh my god. We went from fighting in a prison to a prison yard. Which, oh my god. That might have been one of the best like choreographed action sequences I've seen in a long, long time. The awards need to give action sequences an, an award or a category. Because they, they, they deserve some recognition for that because it's crazy but the fact they go from prison fighting on land to then fighting in cars to then fighting on a train is just bonkers I don't know how they did it I don't know how they sequenced that all together it suffers from the same issue from extraction one where you can see that there are cuts and there's evident places where it, it, it transitions but it's just so good I don't care the fights on the train and the fight in the prison bit I just absolutely loved seeing Chris Hemworth beating people up while he's still on fire then grabbing a dumbbell and smashing someone's head oh my god just that was one of the 
it, crazy. The tension of that scene where he's just got constant people coming for him is just mental. One thing I do think is an issue with Extraction 2 though is the writing is not as good as Extraction 1. There's some really cringy lines in this film and it just didn't feel as natural. It felt a little bit more forced in this. I don't know if it was Chris Hemsworth's delivery or some of the other characters' delivery, but for me, the writing just was a bit meh. If they do an Extraction 3, I hope they can improve on the writing. And I don't know where they would take Extraction 3. Hopefully they, they raise the stakes a little bit. Because I feel like there wasn't much difference from Extraction 1 to Extraction 2 in terms of stakes. The, the, they've both sort of felt a bit equal. Whereas each film should raise the stakes. And for me, Extraction 2 didn't do that. But nevertheless, I still really enjoyed it. The action was superb and it deserves an award for, for action sequences. Anyway, but that has been all from me and that has been all from the Film Club. If you have enjoyed, please like down below. Let me know what you thought of these films if you have seen them. And yeah, I'll see you next time on the Film Club.